A few examples of verbal abuse and verbal abuse is a form of emotional abuse in which one person will use words to manipulate, control or intimidate another person. They'll use hurtful language to undermine a victim's self-esteem leading to the victim having long-term emotional and mental health issues. And one of the first signs of somebody using verbal abuse is when they are name calling, when they are insulting someone using offensive remarks, when they continually call someone stupid or idiot or worthless. And this leads to the victim having low self-esteem, feelings of worthlessness and emotional distress. Belittling when someone goes all out to make you feel ashamed of who you are as a person, to make you feel unimportant, to undermine or ignore your achievements, to dismiss your feelings, accuse you of overreacting, of being too sensitive. They are going to leave you feeling inadequate. Gaslighting, where they're looking to gaslight your reality so that you doubt your perception of events and question whether or not you are the one that's going crazy, leading to confusion and self-doubt. Shaming, criticism of your actions, your appearance, your beliefs, your achievements, in a way that humiliates or embarrasses you, leading to that low self-esteem, social isolation and a lot of anxiety. Threats, using language to instill fear, physical, emotional threats to instill that fear within you so that you don't step out of line, leading to fear, anxiety and loss of all hope. Yelling, using intimidation and aggression. Now you can all ask a child 10 times to do something and then you raise your voice. However, usually the child isn't necessarily fearful of you. They might still push their look. With a narcissistic individual, they're going to tower over you. They're going to intimidate you as well as yelling at you, causing that trauma, that fear, and that overwhelm. Holding somebody else responsible for things that they are not responsible for. And it's very wise to distance yourself from somebody who tries to make you feel responsible for everything they do wrong. Because this manipulation is going to leave you feeling guilty for things that you haven't even done, blaming yourself for things that you haven't even done. And mocking you, mocking you with noises. They can have the last say and then walk off humming and singing away to themselves, causing that frustration within you. So you might go after them and then they accuse your reactions to their actions of being the problem when without their actions, there wouldn't have been those reactions. They're going to make fun of your opinions, your looks, your behaviour, your achievements to ridicule you, to belittle you, causing that low self-confidence, those insecurities and that lack of trust within your own abilities.